uh, and, and getting up with the meta as we see that Blocky's going to get it first. Well, we're like, you know, six at the top. Well, we'll I mean, we got about 10, 15 people, but, um, you know, we're all one of the, be the best players. So, like, the reps help, you know, getting in games every day, just locking in and, and getting good reps versus good people helps everyone. You know, competition is your, in, in the good competition is, is your best benefit, you know, playing the top people. Well, it's traditional better. Madden here. It's Kansas City versus Kansas City in Indianapolis. It's everything you want, Adam Rink. Yeah, this is, you know, this is always very helpful, but it also helps for the talking points because we've been talking at great length about these Kansas City Chiefs, a team that we expect to see make a strong run to the playoffs. They've had some disappointments in the past, some, some failures under Andy Reid, but I think that what we've seen, that maybe seriously, like if Andy Reid's everyone, you know, ready to retire that we just have one of these guys take it over because these these players this weekend have shown how to get the most out of this team and i've seen some folks in the chat ask well why lucas oil stadium why not arrowhead i love arrowhead the barbecue around the corner is fantastic <laughs> it's just in this situation t davis you just take the win out of it no yeah. win let's close the dome and let's play imano imano yeah colts and saints i would say are the best uh you know because they're in the dome take the wind out and you know it's a neutral playing field you know without Minnesota in the shadows. Yeah. Minnesota's got it closed, but you also get a little bit of the sun creeping in there. Second and 10, here in the opening drive, here for Blocky, and there's Little Man turning up the heat. This Justin is a, Houston. He is so, I mean, so aggressive. these guys are really aggressive on the defensive side. Yeah, Little Man loves the blitz. Like I said, he has a, the, one of the best lurks. So you'll see he'll be on Lucas or Murray in the middle. He usually will blitz six, maybe five, and he'll just lurk the middle with one of the best. It's hard to, it's hard to go over the middle field against him. T. Davis joining us. He is the Madden 19 Cardinals Club champion. You can see him play in January up at EA headquarters in San Francisco up in Redwood. And there's a big time sack back to back. And now Blocky well behind the chains in the fourth and 26. You got to get the boot out. You got to punt this. You have to. No other option. I mean, I would never go for this. Just can't do it. Very, very few would. Maybe when you couldn't guard the sticks. <laughs> I'm not trying to throw anything yeah, under the bus. Yeah. But, I'm but you don't want to punt it to, to, to Tyreek. That's not a good idea. And so a big return for Little Man as Block. He could not get it out of bounds. And so it'll be a first and 10 at the 37. And in, in rank, we've seen so many players, whether it's a turnover on downs, an interception, or a long punt return. Here's another short field. Yeah, the short field, and obviously set up again, once again, by Tyreek Hill, who does everything so well. And, you know, you give somebody a, an opportunity like this, you, you can't make those kind of mistakes. Bunch to the right. Thomas is solo to the left here on first and 10. He's going to flip it and make a block. He put all those adjustments back in with plenty of time on the play clock. Quick throw out to Kelsey, who mm. can't hang on. Now the flat passes to the tight ends this year are huge. You know, either Kelsey or Gronk, you get you get like a three yard flat and then you can truck with them right away. So, you know, it's, a, it's an automatic three to five yards every time if they don't have a hard flat over there. We've seen that a few we times. Saw, we saw him yeah, do that Kelsey, earlier, yeah. He, Kelsey he had a lower huge... that head and flatten someone. I, I don't want to call out his name, Orlando Skandrick, who, who got <laughs> ran over. Uh, but hey, anybody, it's tough to stop Travis Kelsey. And there is Sammy Watkins to the 30. And here's a third and two. and. We talked about the over the top of uh, a guy like Tyreek Hill, but Sammy Watkins might be the most sure-handed guy we've seen in the tournament. Yeah, they got the best receiving core probably in, in uh, reg regular teams. Um, Sammy Watkins, DeAnthony Thomas, Chris Conley. And oh. there's a pick by Blocky. And the old spin of the screen there. Couldn't get it going the the way he needed to, or it would have been a pick six, and that's a huge turnover for Little Man. Yeah, see, Blocky has like one of the best defenses, man. He's so smart on defense. He has a good lurk as well. That's why it's so important, you know, in that situation earlier where he was down fourth and 26. There's no panic at all. You, 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 you punt it, and even though he gave up a lot of yards on that punt return, no panic out of Blocky, and he made the big play on defense. It, it talked about him squeaking in to the Ultimate League last year, and what that did was give him, you know, 20 more games at a competitive level that he didn't have. Uh, it was a huge advantage for Blocky, the man out of Miami, Florida. He's come across country to try to make it to the final. Oh, and the back-to-back -back interceptions. This time it's Little Man, and he'll come <laughs> out to the 38-yard line. And then we got a defensive ball game I here told you, Vegas. I expected low-scoring defensive game, and here we go. I love these type of games. 
Yeah, what a great what a great move right there. I mean, obviously we've seen so many times Tyreek Hill getting open down the field, but what a great defensive play by Little Man right there to cause that turnover. So first and 10 at the 38 for a little man. Both guys have turned it over a few times. We've seen a punt. And here's a quick throw to Thomas, who will hang on for a few. Of course, little man from Tom's River, New Jersey. Currently in the Rams final four. That'll be played up in San Francisco. Last time at an EA major was in Madden 17 at the Classic. Madden 17 championship and now here in Madden 19. So Madden 18 wasn't too kind to him. But in the odd years, the little man has been tough. Oh yeah, he's been around forever, man. I remember I came onto the scene about, you know, 07, 08, 09, those years. Little man was winning tournaments all over the country, 08, 09. You know, he's been tough every year. He's always a, one of the top players, you know. You got several guys, obviously you got the problems that are still around, yourself still around, but you got also have guys like Rico and Justin Chow and RG yeah. that just say, hey, the real OGs. I can't, <laughs> <laughs> you know, at some point I can't play, you know, the way I used to play. They, they, they put on the corporate tag, go in there and help us make a better game. And, and we've had a great tournament and a lot of that's due to guys like that, like Justin Chow and RG and the entire EA crew, Millennial Esports. Uh, that have been a, a tremendous host here on a third and 15 now for Little Man with now under uh, two minutes to go here in the first. It's a semifinal number two. Skimbo, the two-time belt winner, is waiting in the final to see who he's going to play. And can Skimbo win back-to-back -back Madden Classic belts? We got a little ways to go to find that out. Up oh, top now is Tyreek oh. Hill. Little man strikes first. Yeah, it just looked like he was biding his time, setting things up. He was using Travis Kelsey pretty effectively. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Little Man has done probably the best job, from my estimation, of using Travis Kelsey in his game plan. And then right there, you just get those guys, you get somebody a little bit complacent, and you just cannot lose track of Tyreek Hill. Yeah. Those deep fades to Tyreek Hill, man. So tough to stop this year. Deep and so bumps. when the blitz doesn't get home, you start to get real nervous about where number 10 is out there in the pattern. And that time it's straight smoke by Tyreek Hill. And now Blocky facing a deficit. He hasn't had a lot of them in this tournament, but he's trailing by a touchdown with 97 seconds to go in the first. We still got a ton of time in this ball game. Blocky. Looking downfield, and he'll throw it away. Defense. Smart play there on first down. Yeah, Blocky always plays smart. He doesn't usually make too many mistakes. I mean, there's been a couple mistakes in this game, but he usually plays really smart and makes you beat him. You know what I mean? Like, he's really just smart. Blocky in his third EA major. So he's got a ton of experience. I talked about the Ultimate League last year, and now he's got it down to the 41-yard line. And... After throwing the INT last time out, now he knows he's got to answer with some points. Yeah, that was a great little chunk play right there, working Sammy Watkins across the field, just dropping it into the perfect spot. First and 10 now, and plus territory for Blocky. Two East Coast guys going at it here out on the West. And that'll be another first down, so all of a sudden he's starting to get into a rhythm here on the offensive side. Spreading the ball around, getting it to guys like DeAnthony Thomas. Again, you know, this is a, a theme we've been talking about all day, but there's just so many different ways with this Chiefs team. It's obviously not just Tyreek Hill. Obviously, he's the big one. But, gosh, so many guys here that can just catch yeah. the ball and go. All three receivers can spin as well, too, which is huge for them. And they also have Chris Conley you can throw in there for red zone. And that was huge. It's going to be a, an intentional grounding loss of down. That'll push them all the way back to the edge of field goal range. At the 40-yard line, be a 57-yarder from there on second and 21. Here comes the heat, oh. quick pass. Gets it out to Sammy Watkins, and he gets some of that yardage back. And now it's going to be third and manageable at the 23. Yeah, great read. Quick throw, got it out of there, and you know what? Perfect play. Now you're at least guaranteeing yourself a good chance at a field goal. This is where it gets interesting, though, getting into the red zone. It's tough to score in the red zone this game. So we'll have to see what goes on. Each of these guys have already run 10 grand. They're looking to add to it. 
Blocky's won $55,000 over the last couple seasons. A bad oh. hit, and there is Tyreek Hill. Man to man, he just burnt him. Plain and simple. Yeah, you know, you think about him on those huge plays, but even that close, you know, within 25 yards, he still has that ability to get past that safety, and you can drop it in right there for an easy touchdown. So seven to seven now, both of our competitors using Tyreek Hill to their advantage. Here's a good return, spins past the 20 to the 23, and we'll have one more play left in this first quarter. Adam Rank from the NFL Network, T. Davis, who is your Madden 19 Cardinals Club champion. Also rocking a cool tee, a cool shirt. I know. I, 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 I felt feel remiss. so uncool I, right now. I, I got did, bad I, hair. My outfits are terrible. I meant to mention that when he walked up. Well, first of all, I was taken aback because I thought Aquaman was walking up there. I'm <laughs> oh, like, geez. oh my gosh, this striking individual. And then, the, then I got mesmerized by this awesome shirt. <laughs> I get the, that guy a lot, Jason Momoa. Yeah, yeah that's that. really. I mean, and there's worse things that you could be compared to. Like really, <laughs> like that. It, yeah. I, I feel bad for you. <laughs> right. Hey, you look like this super handsome superhero. That must be rough. <laughs> I'm sure the girls hate it, but listen, <laughs> at least you have your Halloween costume set now. <laughs> so that's easy. Well, or a pirate. That's usually what I go for. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So second and seven, another long pass, and nearly pulled oh, in. Wow. Both competitors had it at the same time, but it falls harmlessly to the turf, third down. Yeah, just trying to take a chance right there with Tyreek Hill, you know. Thankfully, it wasn't intercepted. Now you just learn to... Uh, or, you're there to go for another another play. By the way, our ratings are uh, Donnie Moore has moved T. Davis's style rating up to now a 92. <laughs> you know what? So this plus, is plus, plus. 92. I don't think that that, no. He's underselling well, him I again. Don't know, I don't know it? who 99 is. Maybe he just yeah, wants him to have room for improvement. <laughs> and there's a well, I invite pass. That means I'm a bronze. I'm like somewhere, I'm like a 68. I'm a quick sell. There you go. That's fair. <laughs> but I think Donnie Moore needs to cut. What? You're not even close. Like, come here and take a look at this shirt. <laughs> 92 is not doing it justice. <laughs> I agree. I'm a little bit more generous, apparently, because I know Donnie and I always argue about ratings. That we have for years now. But this is one, you know, where I'm going to dig in my heels and say that's got to be at least a 97. First and 10 gets it out to Travis Kelsey. Just past midfield at the 49. Here's a little hurry up offense on second and eight. So... Possibly little man saw something. Yeah, mixing it up a little bit. I like it. Yeah, interesting to note, Blocky's using uh, D'Anthony Thomas, uh, Watkins, and Tyree Kill, and little man's using Conley instead of D'Anthony Thomas. We've seen oh, Skimbo use Conley. We've seen mm -hmm. some other guys go the other way. We've seen, we actually saw one time where Kelsey didn't even make the lineup. Of course, that guy's not playing anymore. And we go up top. And oh, pulled in at the 12-yard line, Tyreek Hill. So dangerous. Oh, he's so good, man. I think a lot of like folks are ready to go to ultimate team so they can have <laughs> someone that can guard Tyreek yeah, Hill. Uh, it's seemingly impossible. That's one of the main reasons I didn't use the Chiefs, is because I wanted to use the speed of the Patriots secondary to try to match the Chiefs' offense. How'd that work out you know, for you? Uh, not too well. <laughs> Listen, so. no. the, the science was there. It was hey, sound yeah. reasoning. You, you build them up, I, I, try, I try to even them out. Yeah, man. Inside the 10-yard line guest, at the 5. Know? I forgot about that. You're, he was, you're don't so worry. Right. He, did, he was trying to get Kiv to, you know, Here, have relive a, have his a missed Snickers. field goals again. <laughs> like, oh, Kiv, you know something about blocked kicks, right? Like that? <laughs> that was your lead question to him. Uh, all right. I, I Dropping apologize. Roy Firestone mentions that he's obviously not going to. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I brought up Jerry Maguire. He has no idea who that is. I was going to even, like, I was going to try to make a comparison to Tyree Kill being similar to, like, the 0-4 Vic and then realizing, like, yeah, these kids don't know who that is either. They uh, Trust me, they do know who Michael Obvi Vick I know. is. I know. Obviously. I exaggerate for effect. He's, he's, a, he's obviously a staple in all of Madden. But, yeah, I, I date myself from time. You know, time and time again. It's Bro, you went back to the 90s. I'm clearly 28 you're, you're, years old. You were at a Smash Mouth <laughs> concert trying to drop references to hey some man, movie. Hey, I'm a rock star. <laughs> it's kind of similar hey to, now. The, to the old PS2 days. Also, Randy Moss. You could just put Randy Moss on deep fade. Oh, yeah, rock and oh, yeah. yeah. And they're speaking of a high ball, and Conley oh. pulls it in, and Little Man able to answer. Now takes a six-point lead, and there's a perfect kick. You can't block that up, and it's through. 
And now we got a seven point game. It's eight plays, 78 yards, taking up two and a half minutes. Nice response there by Little Man. Yeah, it seems like both guys are, you know, under control now. The game, their confidence. The jitters are out of the way to start the game, and both are playing good offense now. So maybe we'll have a little bit more of a high scoring game. It's only an opportunity to move your cash total from 10 grand to 25 grand and put a belt around your waist. That'll uh, that'll draw some views even out on the strip. I can tell you that. I mean, yeah. Well, it should be like that Vegas commercial where the guys take the planter from their hotel and they <laughs> carry it around the strip, acting like it was some huge trophy. But I'll tell you what, right now, if I walked out of here with that belt, it would be up and down the strip in Fremont Street. Carry it down Fremont Street. Yeah, that'll be that'll be a fun time. So first and ten at the 32, able to pick up the blitz. Up and under that is Thomas this time, and he lunges his way, falls backwards to the 41, his backwards, forward on the field, and it'll be second and two. Yeah, you see all those street performers out there dressed like Spider-Man or whatnot? Oh, yeah. You could just go out there, hang out with the belt, have people pay money to take pictures with you? <laughs> take a picture with Aquaman yeah. and, and the belt. Oh, my God, that's what you should do. <laughs> we could have been we'll making be your, money this we'll weekend. We'll be your front man. That's we'll be idea. your front man. Oh, my gosh, yeah. <laughs> second and two. This is why we all needed to come together. We're, we've come up with some really yeah. wonderful ideas. He looks like, you know, Aquaman. They're like, <laughs> are you Jonah Hill before the weight loss? Yeah, that's me. That's me. That's, I'm that guy. <laughs> Out to the 48-yard line, we I, have a seven-point game here. This is a key last 145 of the half, especially for Blocky here. If you can tie this thing up, then, you, then it's just going to be a 10-minute game. Yeah, I like the way Little Man's playing defense, too. Giving up nothing over the top, you know, making him go short, dink and dunk, and move down the field, waste that clock. Where is Tyree Hill? He's in the top of the bunch there on the right side, and he's, he's on, on a go. He's on, yeah. <laughs> Running down that seam. It's interesting, too. That's another thing. You talked about the different formations the these two competitors are using, and it's fun to see the different ways that everybody has been using Tyree Kill, obviously Skimbo was using him in a, in a different way, but I think ultimately the goal is to get him one-on-one -on -one going deep. You yeah, know, both players are in bunch, but Little Man's running the West Coast offensive playbook, blocking in the New England, so it's a little different, you know, mainly similar, but a little different. So it's kind of like a mirror match because they both run a bunch in nickel, but the concepts are a little different on offense. So third and ten now with 125 to go. Adam Rank from the NFL Network, T. Davis is joining us, obviously... Long time Madden vet, keeping his season going. We'll see him out in January in San Francisco at the Madden Club Championship, which is our biggest tournament of the year when you talk about $700,000. And uh, it's going to be a little bit different, a little bit different than regs once you get to San Francisco. Yeah, I love salary cap this year, though. I think it's way more fun. I just, it's, you know, so much endless possibilities, you know, especially on offense with all the world specialists and playmaker and stuff like that. So. You know, it should be fun. So fourth and three, big fourth down here. And Blocky will snap it. Here comes the Heek, swings it to the outside, and Ooh. Kelsey dropped it. Fuller comes up. Huge play. Just enough to make Kelsey drop it, and here it comes back to Little Man, and this is a dangerous 54 seconds for Blocky. Yeah, an opportunity to really extend it right here. I mean, obviously, in... In Madden here, 54 seconds is an eternity, so a real opportunity to go up two scores and have that command at halftime. Oh, that's huge. Two possessions at halftime is, like, really huge. So first and ten, he'll hand it off. Nice job shooting the gap. And that's going to be a loss of three, second and 13. Yeah, great read defensively to, to snuff that out. But, of course, you know, not the end of the world here because you, you, you let that clock tick a little bit because, you know, ultimately you want to get you want to get a score right here, but you don't want to leave too much time because you want to end the half with your score. At the very least, it needs to be a seven-point game if you're a little man trying to go in here to the half. Mahomes has time, has a man, and it wow. is Tyreek at the 28. Tyreke oh, my the, goodness. The rocket catch animation. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been a lot of different animations there, T. Davis, but that was the right one. <laughs> so now he's in field goal range. Still has those two timeouts. 
Yeah, the key is to play smart here, though. You know, field goal is perfectly fine here. And tighten up the formation and hand it off to Williams. And now he's in the red zone at the 17. And he'll, he'll use this next to last time out. Now, you say the field goal is just as good, but do you take a couple of shots at the end zone here? Um, yeah, I would take one shot, I, but it depends. You know, I'd be careful here. One time out, so, yeah, I think that's a smart call. Williams will oh, just maybe walk wow, in. Yeah. Are you going to just do that? There's They're going to mark answer. it at the one. <laughs> oh, it's got to be on the half-yard oh, line. Wow. Surely looked like he was falling in, but that knee went down, and now it's going to be first and goal from the one, and he's out of timeouts, and it is on the half-yard line. Oh, boy. I think you got to throw it here. Um, you, if you run it, yeah, it's Yeah, you risky. can't risk running it. This is a huge play. A lot of things can go wrong here. As the old saying says, when you put it up in the air, most of the things that can happen are go wrong. And Conley oh. once again goes up top. And that's a huge touchdown for Little Man. Yeah, what a monstrous turn of events right there because by running the football, and as we're talking about it right here, he was content just to take the three, go into the locker room. Hey, I'm cool with that. But... You know, was able to break a couple of big runs just running the ball up the middle. Nothing exotic or anything like that. And now he's, you know, uh, barring something unforeseen, he's going to go to the locker room with, with a two-touchdown lead. Yeah, we'll have one cool, tick left. So 21-7, to seven, little man. Who's going to face Skimbo in the final here in Vegas? Right now it's looking like a little man, but blocky. Maybe hoping for one heave to the end zone here. Watch out for Tyreek. And look for number 10. You can see that user tracking back, and he will go up top. Oh, boy. Triple coverage, and it is Great knocked defense. away. Well, T. Davis, appreciate you joining Thank us. Thank you We're guys looking so forward much. to you Thank playing you so much. at Thank San you. Francisco, yeah. bringing us your knowledge. And it was we, time to play the game. Thank you, guys. This was it. fun. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome for T. Davis to join us. He will be out at the club championship in San Francisco representing those Cardinals. Yeah, I wouldn't. I didn't want to say that when he was here. What a nice guy. <laughs> really enjoyed his company. I thought he was uh, very insane. What? What, what are you laughing at? He was in, you, do, you do not agree? I agree. T. Davis is the, uh, a very well-spoken. Yeah, what a. Nice, uh, well, compared to us, young man. Oh, yeah, of course. Been around a long Everybody. time. Everybody. And Madden. Quick throw. Here to start the third. And boy, little man could go down here and, and make this almost a, a GG situation if he can get down here and score. Yeah, you don't want to be, you know, too excited, not trying to do too much at once, you know, when you have that, that cushion. You know, you don't want to go totally conservative, but you don't want to be, you know, heaving it on every, you know, just continue to do your thing. So we are one half away from getting to the final. <laughs> There's another huge catch by Tyreek. And he's Tyreek. like, I'm just going to do whatever Excuse I'm going to do. Excuse me while I go throw up, because this guy's sick. I mean, he is it catching is. everything out here. Yeah, putting the ball in great spots. And you've seen it, too, on the, on the throws he's making in the goal, in, in, at the goal line or in the red zone, you know, when he's throwing the ball to Connolly, those two touchdowns, it's just putting the ball in the perfect spot. So first and 10 at the 39. It's a 14-point ball game. I tell you, you, go down here and you kick a field goal and you're really putting Blocky Black 58, back oh, and, up yeah. against it. Any type of score is going to be daunting, especially with the way he's playing defense. Now, obviously, we're marveling right now with how well he's playing offensively, putting up 21 first-half points, but he shut down Blocky in this game, too. So any kind of score here is going to seem like a seemingly impossible task. So second and 10 at the 39. Got one more game coming up today. And we will crown a Madden 19 Classic champion. Will Skimbo win it back to back? It's going to depend on who he is playing in the final. And we just received word that of a special guest for the final. Ooh, fun. Eric Problem Wright will be joining us here in the booth. It doesn't matter whoever is in the final against Skimbo. 
Problem's going to know a ton about Little Man because he's been around for a long time, and obviously he's really close with Blocky, part of that top Madden crew. So that'll be an interesting to get Eric Problem right his thoughts uh, as we move into the final. So that'll be a good one. Spread the news, y'all. We are just eight minutes away from getting ready for a final here in Vegas. Still a ways to go, though, here. Little Man looking to add to the lead here. He'll run it with Mahomes. Ooh, almost had that. What do you do here? You go up by three, three scores. I kicked the field goal. I mean, there, there's zero question here. It's a 48 yarder. I guess it's in a dome. It's not really. I mean, the only thing they can have, and you got Chad Henney holding. That's true. Mr. See. Automatic. I know Bucker's fine too, but Chad Henney is really, you know, not a perfect kick, right? Not a perfect kick, but we did see some jumping over on the left side. So it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, but it's, it's impossible to block a kick here, right? <laughs> it's up and it is good. A couple more seconds ticking off the clock. There for Little Man, and that's the, that's the key number is you're up by three scores now. It's now a 17-point lead for Little Man. Especially with the way he's playing defense. You know, and you put your opponent into a situation where he's going to start feeling that heat. He's going to try to... Try to get those huge plays, you know. I, I think the, the natural instinct that you have to fight using this Chiefs team is that you want to go deep on seemingly every play, even though they have a lot of guys that can beat, can beat your opponent over the middle. So it'll be interesting to see if Blocky can just, you know, remain patient here because there's a lot of time. Quick throw. There's a nice double spin, and there's a juke by Sammy Watkins. Yeah, and perfect. he'll get out to the 35. Some nice stick work there by Blocky. Yeah, perfect. You know, that shows you the mentality of Blocky right now. He's not feeling like he's out of it. He knows he's got some time right here. He, he can do some damage offensively. Nice little start to his drive right there. RG would say, ooh. The kids would say, <laughs> oof. Able to pick it up at the 35-yard line. And there's a throw to the corner. And he's not going to get the ball. He's not going to get a foot down either. So second and 10 from the 35. Yeah, and when you're in four down, I mean, from here on out, he's in four down territory. So it's it's not that big a deal to try to take a, a moment right there. He had Tyreek Hill open for, for a step or two. You know what? Wash it off, flush it, and move on to the next play. Dropping back. Hitting Watkins there now to the 30-yard line. And you now are facing a third and five from the 30. You're going to need a field goal maybe at some point, but it would be nice to get a touchdown here if you're blocking. You want to try to get some momentum going here on offense. Yeah, you still got to be thinking about this in, it's as four downs. I, I think that the field goal would be nice. You'd be within two touchdowns, but you got to start getting some As sevens. a man! And oh boy, that was just a, a miss there by Sammy Watkins. Doesn't have that Tough stretch right that we've seen from Tyreek Hill. Didn't get the, the hands up. Didn't get the animation that he wanted surely would have led to a score. So he will take the three. Will take the three. Back to a two-score game, and he needs his defense to show up. He's given up 24 points, but over this next six minutes and change, he can't afford to give anything up the rest of the way. Yeah, and I obviously don't know what I'm talking about, and I would have gone for it, but, you know, I understand. It's You got within two, two scores right now, but you got to make some plays defensively. Boy, a big hit stick coming off a... Of Spin move by Tyreek Hill. That could have been disastrous. But Little Man's got a 14-point lead here. He's six minutes away from playing in the final against Skimbo. Bunch to the left. Sammy Watkins is, was solo to the right, and now it's Thomas solo to the left. Mahomes will go to the air for Little Man. And Travis Kelsey's able to get away from Fuller. And he will rumble down to the 32-yard line. 14 of 18 now for Little Man. Yeah, he's definitely a game breaker, somebody who can stretch the field. I think that, you know, Kiv and I did disagree on who the best tight end is in the NFL. Now, of course, I will concede that, you know, on Sundays, I think the, the, it's without question that it's Travis Kelsey. But here in the world of Madden, I guess it's, there's a pretty good argument that he would be the number two guy. I just wanted to put that out there. And admit, you know, listen, I'm humble. I can admit it. I tell I you, that, one of the best tight ends that I saw last year in Madden was a guy by the name of George Fant. Do you know who George Fant is? 
You're going to have to remind me. He was a hooper in college. I believe he's with the Giants, I want to say, and he's like, I don't know, fourth on the depth chart as a tight end. Like he's even below Rhett Ellison. But Drini brought him out in salary cap, and uh, I was a George Fant fan for at least a weekend or so. Yeah, and that's the thing. And, and, you know, that's one of the most amazing things about anybody who's been following along. And if you're somebody like me who's not, you know, obviously I come from a football background, but it's awesome to watch these guys come out and find these hidden gems. It's a lot like playing fantasy football where you want to find somebody who can be a benefit to your to your roster. And they're finding guys with the attributes that, oh. Nearly spun himself into the open space. And he's down here in the red zone not to cut you off, but it's a 14-point ball game. No, that was Damian Williams cutting us off with that tremendous run right there. But I'm really just blown away. And, you know, I shouldn't be, but with the way that they find these players and the attributes that they can use. You know, again, I go back to the example of, of guys like the young crop of coaches, be it Sean McVay or Matt Nagy or guys like that who are finding creative ways to present football away from the old school way. And you find guys who find hidden players like that. I mean, obviously George Fant is an offensive <laughs> tackle, but Trini was using him as a tight end. That's amazing. Well, maybe come out there, chat. I, I see you guys lurking out there. No, I They're not going to catch me. That's cool. They're not going to catch me lurking. So second and 14 at the 23-yard line. He played college hoops. Played college hoops, and then they turned him He's... into a offensive tackle that has hands. Yeah, that's amazing to find those guys. <laughs> How deep do you have to go into the I love it. I love you gotta go the, way down there to find out George Fant has hands. <laughs> you know, a left tackle. Got a little, you know, got a little athleticism, you know. Because you hear about it all the time. Anytime there's a former college basketball player who's playing in the NFL, they have to bring that up. Like Tony Gonzalez, Antonio Gates. Hey, Antonio Gates. Jimmy. Jimmy Grant, hey, this guy they played, played college. Yeah, we get it. Yeah. Ryan Fitzpatrick went to Harvard. We get it. Yeah, you know, Jimmy Graham will run a, you know, a seven-yard <laughs> hitch. And hey, be by like, the way, did just, you know he just played? just locking him out, just like he would do in basketball. Hey, when whatever. he was playing for the Hurricanes, <laughs> those ACC battles against Duke, <laughs> when he was putting it up against Eric Montross in the ACC semi. Okay, we get it. You I don't even know if, if Miami was in the ACC at that point. I'm just. I don't I'm, think they were. Uh, listen, you know what? You. The chat will let me know. I, I like. Let me know. I, I like the Eric Montross. Uh, let me know about there. his battles with that, Cherokee Parks. That's deep. Like, yeah, please. Well, Cherokee Parks. So he's like, no, it that. was. It was actually Eric Chenoweth. It wasn't Cherokee Parks. It was that other guy. Okay, we got you. Here we go. Oh, by the way, there's a game going on. I'm sorry, folks. Yeah, fourth and fifteen. Little man trying to go up by seventeen. Blocky unable to get the stop unless he can block this kick. It's not going to be perfect. It's just above the top of the line. And he's going to hold it. So we have 12 seconds to do whatever we want. Oh, with cool. Our lives. God, don't give me that much time because now I'm going to start talking about Aquaman again. I don't know. I'll take it out. Talk about Hal Jordan. I think there was a kid down there who kind of looked like the. And it is a perfect kick. I take it back up and through. How do you? You know that when Chad Henney is holding the ball, it's going to be a perfect kick. It does kick. give you, yeah, there's some secret chemistry with Chad Henney. So they've traded He's field goals. He's an 11-year vet, you know, from Michigan. So there's some. He hangs around, man. That's, that's the job that you want, the backup quarterback. You go to practice. You wear a red jersey, which means nobody can touch you. Patrick Mahomes is starting in front of you, so you're never going to see the field. Like, that's everything that I want. You get paid an NFL minimum salary for doing nothing? Yeah, everybody, holding wants, a clipboard? everybody wants to be Tom Brady. I, I just wanted to be Charlie Whitehurst. Yeah, man, that's a that's living. There was a – no, I don't want to – Don't go down that road. I No, I was going to call out there was a guy who was playing in the NFL. He's recently retired, and he was hoping to hang on for quite some time, but he was battling with a damaged shoulder when eventually he got called into a game and – they figured out they he couldn't. They found out that he they, couldn't sling it. They figured out he couldn't throw anymore, and he was so bummed out. He's like, dude, I was going to get like three years of paychecks <laughs> not having to do anything, but now here I am. You could probably figure it out. I'm sure the chat will figure out who I'm talking about. So first and 10 at the 37-yard line, under two to play. Blocky's going to need everything to go right for him. 
Yeah, you know what? And trading field goals, you know, recently, and I was talking about going for, for seven back there when he had the ball previously. This is the kind of situation that I was hoping that you would be able to avoid because, you know, you would have an advantage if you obviously, you'd because you want more points. But when you settle for a field goal when you're down by 17, you, you allow this opportunity to once again go down by three scores. And there's another sack. This time it's Smith coming off the edge. It's going to be second and 18. Ball at the 32. With 1.23 to go, it's back to a 14-point ball game, and now it's onside time. Yeah, you got to. I mean, it's that part of the, it's that part of the program, Scott. You need a couple of things to go your way, but, you know, with the way Little Man has been playing, you know, his all-around game has been very impressive over the last couple of hours, and actually over the last weekend and well beyond that. 27 to 13, little man in control. Still has some work to do. He's actually going to squib it here. Thought he was going to come out in the onside, but he's going to try to use those three timeouts to his advantage. So he's looking for a three and out right here. This is the ball game. Oh, absolutely. You know, and but once again, you know, little man has just done a great job of, of playing keep away and, and being smart with the football, making some intelligent throws when he needs to. So. It's going to be a daunting task here. High formation. He's going to stretch it to the outside. And a nice job holding the edge there by Blocky. He's going to use his first time out. If you just joined us or just got the internet, Eric Problemright's going to join us in the final. Woot. Will it be a little man? Will it be a Blocky? We still got 75 seconds to find out. And he's going to be tripped up at the 45. And there's the second time out by Blocky with 72 seconds to go now. Needs a stop here on third and six. And he will run the stretch play. For the strong Just, side is gonna pin on the spot. He's gonna be short. Gonna Might be fourth be and one. Shorts. I mean, do you just put it away here? No. I think he's gonna punt it deep now that he has Blanky with zero timeouts. Make him go the length of the field. And this might be an epic oh punt, and they gosh. will mark it at the one-yard wow. line. You don't see a lot of those great special teams, but there it was. Colquitt just out there dropping dimes. Puts it the in the lefty. corner. The left-footed punter, it's something that Bill Belichick started because of the spin. Opposite way. From a lefty. You know, it goes back to when, when he had uh, Zoltan Masco from the University of Michigan, I think might have been the first left-footed punter he brought in. And since that time, he's used left-footed punters exclusively. And of course, Andy Reid here following suit. But Doug Colquitt gets a little breathing room out to the 21. Got a long way to go. He needs two scores with zero timeouts. And you just got to live on a prayer here. Bon Jovi style, and that's not going to happen. <laughs> The clock will continue to run. Don't run, hurry up there, because it'll yeah. take too long for those guys to get back. That's why you get into the playbook, choose another play. Savvy veteran move right there. And for those of you watching at home trying to pick up some trip, some some tips, I should say. That's yeah, one to remember. Too. Why not? Tricks, whatever. No, it's and a, it'll be intercepted, but won't keep bounds. it in bounds. But it's solid strategy, is what I'm trying and to say. And they're gonna say GG here. They're gonna I don't think they're going to go the sec the he is going to go the rest of the way. So Blocky takes the headphones off. He's going to lay down and little man from Tom's River, New Jersey. He is going to be in the final. He's going to be taking on Michael Skimbo. So we got some guys that have been around for a while. They're going to have an opportunity. You can talk about right. hey, you got two veterans. It's called the Madden Classic. There's a yeah. reason for that. We're playing regs. The way a lot of people think Madden should be played. And oh my, little man. Got one more game for maybe turning 